So if you want to install your own virtual private network, there's actually a really easy way to do that. DigitalOcean allows you a lot of flexibility to install what you need on the server. And in this case, we're going to install OpenVPN. So what we are going to do here is we could actually follow all these steps here in this long tutorial, which works. Or what we can do is run a shell script that installs all the de dependencies for us. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So one person in the comments made this suggestion right here. So what I'm going to do is after I start my digital ocean droplet here, and I'll show you how. So I'll just do a standard Ubuntu 4.0 and I'm going to go ahead and use my SSH key. You otherwise have to get credentials on your own. So this is just going to be a example virtual private network create. So hang out here while it creates. And what I'm going to do is open up a terminal on Mac. This is native on windows. All you have to do is download an emulator, which works pretty well. I'll give an example of that. All right, cool. So we got this. I'm going to copy the IP address there by just clicking on it. So I'm going to do SSH root at my IP address. Yes. All right, so I'm in. So I'm going to go ahead and run this script. Just one line, copy it in, Control C or Command C, and then Command V on the Mac, Control V on a PC. Most of this stuff is fine. You want to pick one for this case because we're gonna we're gonna route through our digital ocean droplet from our client machine, which is either the PC or Mac you're on. This is useful for a laptop, so I'm gonna pick one. That should still work. I'll just call it client. So just going through here, building everything. All right, excellent. So I'm going to do a list of what's in my directory and right there I've got my client OVPN. So I need a I can either copy this off the server or I can go ahead what I'm going to do is I'm going to do nano. That's my text. That's a built-in text editor. And I'm going to open this up and I'm going to copy all the contents of this onto a a, a text file which I'm going to name client.ovpn and you'll see what I do with that. All right, so let me just copy this. All right, so I'm just gonna use sublime text here. So I'm gonna save this. You can name it something else. It just has to have that extension. If I watch what my hands are doing. All right, I'm sorry, I need to pay attention here. All 
and I'm gonna save it to my desktop. Good. Okay. A lot of other scripts I have coming up here. All right, so what happens here? So I'm just gonna show you here so I can get this over here. Oops, I'm gonna do that. All right, so, all right, here we go. So what I'm gonna have to do is install a program called um, Tunnel, Tunnel Blick. So all you do here on a Windows machine, you'll install a different client for the OpenVPN. So install this. Launch. So I have my own configuration files. If you don't, uh, you'll do something else. But for this case, we already have it, so I'm going to do have. So the new configuration files will be available for Tunnel Blick immediately. So all you have to do is double click it, and I'm going to show you that. I already had it previously installed, so this icon already appears, but it should reappear. All right, so let me try this now. So it's Tunnel Blick is asking me if I have configuration files, which I do. Um, I can say I do not have them. So create sample configuration, edit it. Um, we can do that. So here's, well, they give us one right here, but all right. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my one, open up one I have. So what you have to do here, this should change things on your system. So it'll recognize any .ovpn file. So what I have here is what I had previously. And I'm going to double click this. We're going to all users. So this was installed successfully. All right, so what's going to happen here is um, here's the tunnel blick icon up here. So connect to client. So the connect client is what I am using or what I will be using. But what I'm going to start off by doing here is I'm going to show you speedtest.net. All right, so I'm going to use this. So it's going to recognize where I am from, where I live. So my ISP is Mediacom. So it's in Iowa here, which is true. That's where I'm from. So the reason I'm showing this to you is so you can see that it truly goes through the server droplet that I'm using and that also the DigitalOcean VPN is very quick, very fast. All right, so that's not bad. Uh, I'm sure some of you out there are laughing at the results, but all right, so I'm gonna try this now, connect to client. All right, so you gotta make sure until, wait until this turns green. Okay, there we go. So let's refresh the page and we should get an IP address in New York or depending on wherever you set your droplet off. California or San Francisco or whatever else. All right, so, yep, DigitalOcean recognizes recognizes my IP address. So we're gonna begin test. All right, so there you go. That's the digital ocean droplet. So I'm going to show you here the droplet. All right. So 24 hours current. February 10th. So here's the speed test uh, we just did, which is right here. You can see that. 
Doesn't seem to pick up regular um, traffic though, which I don't really understand. But that's it. And um, use this. This. Th why would I use this? Well, this is great if you go to a mall or anywhere else where, especially if you decide to make an e-commerce purchase, it's not the. It's not a very safe place to make a purchase. And I've actually had credit card information compromised when I foolishly made a purchase when I was on a public Wi-Fi. So this is just. This is more for fun if you just being practical, hide, using a VPN like Hide My Ass or any other commercial software out there, that's your best bet. But this is still fun to tinker with, and you can pull this up and take it offline uh, very fast, as you've seen here. Actually, this whole step and procedure only takes a couple minutes. So, I mean, granted, you know, if you're saving five or ten bucks a month, but still, it's interesting, and that's the fast way to do it.